the John Stoltrager Show. I'm Joe Wombo, joined now with John Stoltrager, head coach of the men's and women's swimming teams. And, Coach, you guys traveled down to Gallaudet, down to D.C., in a historical weekend that we had, and historical in the fact that the women won again and men closed the gap. Yeah, the women um, put up a, a good fight against Gallaudet. Um, we actually broke uh, two school records. Izzy broke her own 200 fly record, and Bailey broke her own 1,000 free record. Um, we also had um, Lindsay actually had two personal bests in her 100 and 200 backstroke, backstroke and her 200 back was substantial. I believe it was by like seven seconds. So <laughs> That is awfully impressive, and it's a perfect time of the year for that to be happening. You guys got the conference schedule coming up, uh, or conference meet towards the middle of February. But first, next weekend is senior weekend. Yeah, next weekend we have our last home meet of the year um, against Arcadia. And, um, you know, it, it should be a, a fun meet. Arcadia's coming in, and they are um, stacked. They're, they're undefeated in the mm -hmm. women's side, and they only have one loss on the men's side. So it should be a good meet for us to kind of gauge where we're at going into the conference meet. Yeah, that'll be an awfully important uh, format of engaging yourself. And you mentioned before we started rolling them, um, that you're in the tapering stage of the season. You revisit really what that does that mean? Sure. Um, we just came off a full month of, of doubles every single day, and our goal was to actually get as tired as we possibly could. And, and I'm pretty sure if you ask the swimmers, we, uh, we accomplished that goal. Um, now what we're trying to do is starting to rest and recover for – um, the conference meet and what that entails is we actually lost all our doubles this week so we're only doing one a week uh, I'm sorry one a day um, and we're doing very light lifts this week uh, and then next week is where we really start um, really pulling back the yardage and really resting and really recovering and getting ready for the conference meet and that uh, resting couldn't come at a better time this is the first week of classes I'm sure the students are enjoying the little rest and being able to focus on academics again yeah you know it's it's always nice in you know early january where there are no classes no conflicts no and nothing like that and now again you have your eight o'clock classes where we have to try to get kids out early um so yeah it def definitely comes at a good time for us and let's talk a little bit about the conference meet that you have coming up we'll visit it more after this meet uh, but what are, you have had some qualifiers. What does the meet they have coming up against Arcadia do in terms of you know getting you ready for the conference? Well, there's two different things, you know, and, and, and swimmers are very superstitious. So some kids don't like swimming their main events in the middle of a taper. Um, so you kind of have to juggle what they're going to do. Some kids swim absolutely phenomenally well, you know, a week into their taper, and some kids just, just don't. And that's okay because, you know, one of our, our beliefs is you are where you need to be. And if you're swimming well that first week of taper, then you're going to actually swim even better at the conference meet. And if you're not, then you're just not ready to swim fast yet. And, you know, in another two weeks, trust what we're doing, and you will swim fast. So, you know, it really depends on the individual. Well, Coach, we wish you the best of luck and all the individuals on the team in these meets that you have coming up. Thank you. He's John Stoltrager. I'm Joe Wamba, and this has been the John Stoltrager Show.